Yo, what's up, boys? We're gonna be reviewing the new Animus GP from the Overdrive crate. Um, I have a couple of games on it, not too many. You can see on the scored three goals, so. This is almost like a first impressions. Um, after the last update, they had a car standardization. I'll bring up the, uh, the exact words, but basically, um, the car is gonna be pretty much identical to the breakout. <laughs> But I've been playing Breakout a lot, so I can be, like, a real judge of that. Let's go ahead and look at the, the decals. The Pharaoh one, probably one of my favorites. The cat's on it. L-I-T-A-99. Pretty clean. The big Monza decal. I actually kind of like that one as well. Necro, probably one of my least favorite. It looks much better in uh, black and red. Your car looks pretty mean in black and red with it. Rocket. And Zangtech. This one's probably my least favorite, but we'll go ahead and rock the Feral for this. Then, um, of course, with the new update, we also have engine sounds. So we can go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, let's go ahead, let's hop into a game and uh, we can just see how this new baby feels. Alright, hopping in. The car looks really nice in game too, actually. I was kind of expecting it to look kind of silly, maybe a little bit flatter in game. But it looks fine so far. Nothing to complain about with how it looks. It feels really similar to the breakout just off the get-go, which of course makes sense. Takes shots pretty well. Wasn't too hard of a shot to take, but was able to place it both the corners. You can really kind of tell where the hitbox is. There's a little bit of like a weird spot between the wheels and the front end and like the middle, but it could be hard to tell like maybe where the hitbox is if you're in the air trying to touch the ball. But other than that, I kind of feel like it does a good job representing the hitbox. Especially if it's supposed to be similar to the breakout, I could definitely see like the resemblance in the hitbox with these. The engine sound is a little bit high-pitched in-game. Doesn't sound exactly how I expected it to after listening to it in the preview, but I still think that it's a fine engine sound as well. Definitely fits the car. Uh, one thing with this car being similar to Breakout would definitely be uh, seeing how well it takes aerial challenges. Because one of the main benefits to a uh, breakout is being able to win out on other uh, 50-50s and challenges in the air really well. Hopefully we'll be able to see some of that soon. See if it uh, follows suit in that. Yeah, it's pretty easy to tell where you should hit the ball with this car. The flat ends at the in the front of the car really help with that. Like the two little uh, flaps in the front, I think really assist with that. It really kind of gives the give the hit box like an actual box that you can go off of. Also, I like just how the style of the car looks. It's not very boxy like a lot of the old cars are. It's more uh, like uh, rounded edges, like the Endo and some other new cars are. Which I really like, visually at least.
Nothing to complain about with that challenge. Worked out fairly well. Went in at a weird angle. You can't really beat the Octane in low challenges like that either, so... Seems to be taking challenges well. I honestly really like this car so far. Like, could just be because I've played the Breakout a lot, and it's... It definitely feels really similar to the Breakout, like almost a Breakout clone. So it has that going for me, which is probably a big reason and why I'm enjoying playing with it. I would definitely say if you've like, uh, if you've... Uh, damn. Kind of unfortunate there. But I would definitely say that if you've liked the breakout, and you just kind of weren't using it because of the way it looks, or if you didn't like the way it handled, that you should definitely try out the Animus. I really can't find too much to complain about with this car. It looks nice and it handles well, so... What else, what else could you really want in a car? Pop the ball pretty well as well. That's something that Breakout's good at. You can really kind of pop the ball and follow it with the front, especially with how long it is. This car did it pretty well too. Um, something I'd be interested in is seeing like how well this car could flick the ball backwards. Because of the shape of like the Breakout, if you have the ball on the hood of your car, you can uh, backflip and just flick the ball completely backwards and get a lot more power on it than people expect. So I kind of wonder if this car could do that as well. Well, overall, I do like this car. I don't know if it would 100% like, uh, take over the Breakout as a main car for me, but it's definitely up there on my list right now. You can kind of see the undercarriage there. Looks nice. Um, yeah, I actually really like this car. Um, if you're interested in the other car... Yeah, if you're interested in the Cintio, be sure to look below. I'm going to put down another review for that. It's going to be in the description, a direct link to it. So, yeah. Peace, guys.